<clears throat> well, welcome to this little flight review of the Sima X8HG quadcopter and it's the big red uh, yeah candy red big quad it's a really big quad with an 8 megapixel camera and that films in 1080p we have the on off button here put it on I'm flying on the other side of this place where I live, Stura Melusa. Uh Put it on here. And to arm the quadcopter I have to do it like this. There is a slight wind, sorry to say, in the back on my on the back side of here. I hope it's not too strong. It's actually starting to blow up a little. But I hope it will not be that bad. Um, I shall show you how to start the props. There are two ways to start the props. You can do like this. At the start bit you can do it the same way but you can also start the props by pulling the right throttle stick up and let it down or shut it down by do pulling the same throttle down um, how to do the flips you have to press the flip button down and in the same time you have to pull stick up the left the right stick up or down or, or whatever direction you want uh, headless mode I had some troubles to find out how it worked but it seems to be like it works but we are going to try everything like that so let's get this rolling I start it up. I start to film by pulling this down and then I letting it up. going up a little and as you see it's kind of stable if it did ha haven't hadn't be for the wind it would have been kind of steady and as you see it do fluctuate a little in the wind but not that much I, I think I shall uh, take a picture and stuff. I take him up a little so I can take a picture and you see it flashes I'm trying to keep it let's see how headless 
headless move works. I press it for some seconds and it starts beeping. It should be at that direction. It seems to be correct. Let's take a picture on me from that direction. And I start to film. And I'm pulling the lever back. And it's slowly getting back to me. And it seems to work actually. It fluctuates a little. I have a kind of strong wind, but I only in rate, in low rate. I can put it in high rate and then it gets much, much faster. Up. This is in high rate. As you can see, it flies really, really good. It doesn't really fluctuate. Flies nice. Nice and stable. Now in low rate again, I should show you how to do the flips. I have to get up a little. I have to press the button for a while and, and down. It kind of raises. Try uh, one more, t and as you see, it's it's a good flipper. And this flies really. I really, really like this machine. It's a terrific, ter really great machine. It have a kind of good. As you see, it, it's not that bad lander. I should just see something here. Yeah, I'm still filming.
put it off. It has kind of good, a good battery. Yeah, it flies for quite a long time. I don't feel it's it's bad or anything. Um, let's see here if we can get it up in the air again. I do put it in high rate. Let's see if we can get it. I feel a little up there. Ah, uh, the car come there, came there. There is no real problem to fly this in windy weather. As you can see, it's possible to get down. It actually has the best altitude hold I have seen in a toy grade quad. And when it comes to range, I haven't seen really any problems with that either. I shall shut down off the video again. It's kind of pity uh, the weather is still a little too windy today though. But I can, you know, you can see I can really, really, really land it slowly and gently. You saw that? It's not a bad quad. It's a pity it doesn't have a GPS or something like that in the sand or gimbal. Uh, and the video is. I think it's actually amazing. It's an amazing quad. Have a good video. Um, one good thing is if you want to know if the camera takes video or something, you can actually see it from two sides. You have a little LED light in the back and a little LED light in the front that is shining red if you're recording or green if you're not recording. I'm not sure if I can put the lights off. I haven't found that. So it seems like the lights is always on on this one. Um, what more to say? I actually have. It's 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 really really tough to say anything bad about this quad. 
I actually really really like this one. I wish it maybe had a rate 3, uh, even faster rate. So you can fly a little faster than now. But otherwise I think this is actually the best best toy grade quad out there at the moment. It it have a ma uh, it matches Kaiden K70 to be honest and that one doesn't have altitude hold but this is a really really great quad I shall see if I dare to do a little range test I fly a little out above a little range test here oops sorry <laughs> that was my bad I have to fetch that Okay, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm should do a little adding to my Sima uh, X8HG review, and this is actually mostly warning. You remember I did actually give this quad really really good grading. Uh, I was really really positive, and uh, it flew well. It it's terrible very very stable and everything like that and it's well and then I did this kind of rookie mistake in the end I told you um, sure I did use the wrong stick and pull this one instead of this one to get it back but according to many viewers online that wasn't really my mistake and uh, I have kind of looked into it and found out that this quad do also have this so-called motor shutdown issue. Um, the issue do kind of work like this. Um, it flies up in the sky. You pull the stick like this. You can see that and the motor shuts down it's not like i have to pull it all the way down but i could just leave it a little up and there is kind of like maybe two millimeters left and that's it's not good so um i think it's the transmitter that is actually the problem here it's not the quad itself but uh, there are some people that don't have this issue, but I do actually have it. And now I shall show you. I uh, pull this Sima uh, on, uh, the controller on, and then I do uh, arm it, and then I let the motor on. Now look at Normally I should do like this. And the motor should shut down. Works flawlessly. Now I should start it again. Now I pull it a little down. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. 
nothing happens nothing happens and there it happens and you can see it's not much left it's very very easy to uh, make this mistake so what I did out there wasn't really my problem if it didn't have this issue and this problem I might even got it back without any problems so um, warning uh, until steam has fixed this maybe you shouldn't use this one because this could be a dangerous problem think about it yourself you're flying hard it comes person and it falls down on, on that person so I really have to warn you it's a pity it's a really really great quad so uh, see you until next time bye